ready? Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. It is top five time. We're going to do the top five benefits of keto that are not weight loss. That are not weight loss. Hey guys, Aaron here. Welcome to AD Keto, where we talk all about the ketogenic diet. Today, we're doing a top five, where we're going to talk about the top five benefits of keto that are not centered around weight loss. Number five is increased energy. When I started this thing, I felt like garbage for a few days. I had what do you call the keto flu. Um, but after I broke through that, energy went through the roof. I could not believe how energetic I felt. Uh, I would feel super productive. I wanted to get things done. I wanted to clean. I wanted to cook. Uh, To-do lists that I had on my phone, I was checking off items on those. I felt like a million bucks. So that was a very welcome surprise. I didn't have 2.30 p.m. crashes. Uh, the energy was consistent all throughout the day and I felt great. I felt energetic, I felt happy, and I still do. So that's been a very, very nice thing. Number four is fantastic sleep. I have been sleeping like an absolute rock since I started eating this way. Um, maybe not as much sleep per night, maybe fewer hours every night, but the sleep I'm getting is so deep um, that I wake up supercharged, ready to go, um, I find that I'm falling asleep a lot more quickly, and my lovely wife tells me that I'm not snoring as much, so that's a good thing as well. Number three is decreased pain. Um, I have some creaky knees. Uh, I've had times in the past where I've been a jogger, a runner, and my knees always hurt when I get back from jogging, especially the next day I feel sore. Um, but since starting keto, the pain in my joints is kind of gone. Um, and I looked up pain and inflammation plus keto on Google the other day. There's a great article that I found at the National Library of Medicine about a study that was done back in the 90s on rats, our little rat buddies. Um, they put one group of rats on a ketogenic diet for seven weeks. They had a control group of rats that were fed a normal rat diet, I guess. Um, and the study that they did involved putting the back paws of the rats on a hot plate and gradually turning up the heat. And the rats who were on the keto diet um, took longer to remove their paws than the rats who were not eating keto. And the determination that they made, and there were some other factors that could have uh, accounted for this. Talk, they talked about the age of the rats um, and a couple other factors, but their takeaway was that, uh, that keto somehow increased their pain threshold or lessened their pain a little bit. So I just thought that was, that was interesting and um, you know, it doesn't explain why my knees hurt, but I thought it was a cool study. Okay, number two is freedom from food cravings. I no longer crave food like I used to. It used to dominate my every thought throughout the day. When am I gonna eat again? What am I gonna eat? God, I'm so hungry. God, I'm so hangry. When am I gonna have another meal? Um, I don't think like that anymore. Since starting to eat this seemingly crazy way, um, I'm not obsessed with food. I eat when I'm hungry. Um, and then I stop, and then I don't eat. Uh, I'm not thinking constantly about food, so I really like that. It helps me stay kind of more sane. And that brings me to number one. The number one benefit of keto that's not weight loss, I have found, is mental clarity. The day I woke up after having three days of the keto flu, um, I felt like the, a cloud had lifted from my head. There was no more fog, there were no more headaches, um, and I felt like I could concentrate really, really well um, I felt sharper. I was more efficient at the work I had to do. Uh, it was just um, a fantastic feeling of mental clarity, which I still feel. So that is the number one benefit of keto that does not involve weight loss. So that's gonna do it for this video. What do you guys think? Have you had similar experiences? What would you say your top five non-weight loss benefits are uh, to doing keto? If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It'll really help me grow the channel. You can find me on Instagram at ADKeto and on Twitter at AD underscore Keto. And that's going to do it. I will see you next Friday.